Greetings on my little subs and subs to be. I am Master Dominic. It's my absolute pleasure to welcome you back to Warframe. Okay, we got some stuff in the foundry to pull. Got the forma. Hell yeah. Eggs. Cannot claim. Oh crap. I don't have enough inventory slots, and I don't have enough platinum to buy more. Okay, so so that means what I'm gonna have to do is uh, I'm gonna have to get some Iotan to trade for platinum in the market. That'll definitely be off screen because Iotan and platinum grinding takes so long. Got chat up. Okay, so I can't pull my mag warframe right now. <clears throat> uh, oh, Bardock Tear is here. Oh, let's check out what he has in stock today. Two weeks, so hopefully you'll have something good. Oh, well, actually, he always has something good. I know I haven't bought Sands of Inaros from him yet. Definitely do that. I was planning on making this a grinding episode anyway to get a lot of cash for uh, upgrades. Well, if he has something worth it, I can grind relic missions too. The wait is over, Tenno. Barrel key tier has arrived. Row armor, just aesthetic. Does it have actual purpose? Cosmetic for an item which you do not own. Okay, so it's Barrel key tier's armor for your Kubro. Work in tower extraction scene. A prime heat charge for pistol. Prime slip magazine for pistol. Prime target cracker for pistol. That's not bad. Want to vandal? He has some decent stuff. Your tree. Lift doesn't do anything. Your sentinel mark. Mask design to match the one worn by Garakatir, or your sentinel. Oh, that's cute. Your sentinel wings, sentinel tail, a three-day resource booster, that's not bad. Sands of Inara's blueprint. Come again. I can't afford any of that at the moment, and I... It didn't necessarily see anything I really wanted, so not gonna deal with him today. Dance for the people. Hi, Fuzzle. Okay. So. Means we're heading on over to Ceres. What? Puzzle made me bump the right trigger. There we go. Em and I on Ceres. A decent amount of endo drops. And melee weapons get a mega fuck ton of bonus XP. So I'll just keep on clearing whatever my mini quest is. Clear the mission to wave 5 and fail. 20 pistol kills. Nice. Easy. Our Defend the cargo until reinforcements arrive. On it. I'll just keep doing that so I can get a metric fuck ton of credit. Upgrade mods for everything I have. 
So I'll do a mod check. Uh, well, first it met, it will probably be like after each round, since a lot of the mods I have don't require a ton of money to upgrade. Then once it gets to the point where I can't even get one upgrade per run, well, by that point I'll probably be pretty deep in the stream, so I'll probably just finish out the uh, grinding. Uh, call a stream. And tomorrow, we'll go ahead and continue on with my actual quest codex. Since I'll have seriously leveled everything up a lot. Come on. And have all the mods is a little bit stronger. Which sometimes just one upgrade on one mod can make all the difference. If I were to put more power on pressure point or serration, those are mass damage type mods. It would cause their the, the results the weapon would get in combat to be higher. I'm all, and I'm gonna keep switching to melee after uh, getting my mini quest each time, just because that is like pretty much what you're supposed to do on this mission. This mission is made for melee users, power level. Oh, also, since it seems that I can't get any more weapons or warframes at the moment, since I'm out of platinum, if I max out, I don't have a replacement, I switch in something that's maxed. There are reasons to use max weaponry in this game, like high-level missions, or after you reach a certain point, you can make it so they can get more XP, even if they're maxed out. I will explain that when it comes up. But... Shit. Using a plain maxed out weapon without the special modifications to make it dig deep is not in any way beneficial. So I would, um... That way I'll be forced to use other things. I won't accidentally default to something that's maxed out. And in turn, it will get me P for the other stuff I'm trying to max out. Well, I'll work out. Already up to wave four. <clears throat> and you're dead. Geez, they barely did any damage. My iron skin is still at 40%. You can be rich to rich sniping them with the bulk lock. Turn them up with my melee, they don't stand a chance. Of course, I have melee weapons for days, so even if I do end up maxing something by, by doing this, it doesn't matter because I can keep on pulling more melee weapons. Be the gun maxing out that could be a problem. Because they were maxing a lot slower, so I have a lot easier. It, it, this is, like, the tagline for this game is a game made for ninjas. It would make sense to, uh, really emphasize the melee based combat. Bastards. At all? He was long range in me there. I've seen him shoot from this far. Another one way over here. 
Oh god, this one's glitched. Okay, that's it. Oh yeah, I should check my alerts to see if there's anything in them worth fighting. Not bad. Oh snap, the jaw sword at level 26. I did not realize it was already so close to maxing. Holy crap. That means it'll probably take me five more runs. Max it out, maybe. Okay, yeah, do a mod check. Gotta remember. Let's Rhino. Always start with the physique mod. Maxed out. Nice. Okay, I think I have it set to uh, take max mods out of the lineup. Yeah. First, shields. That. Next would be... Nope, shit! Wrong button. I meant to select vitality, not... Okay. I'm short by, like, less than 20 credits. Oh my god. Find steel fiber. S. More armor, more health, and more shields. Okay. I said they burnt out most of my cash doing that. I'll go ahead and rerun Semina. Wait, wait, wait. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, okay. Focus. Alerts. A defense mission. Way on Mercury. And it pays out... I'm gonna need to do these missions a bit so I can get some more endo. As since I'm short on platinum, I'm gonna need to sell the market, so best bet is to hang on to the statues I have left. Trade them in as I can. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our mission. All right, so this will pay out some endo and a small bit of cash. Yeah, what's my mini? But just find a mod. So go full on melee. Wreck everything. And as long as I keep killing enemies, I'll eventually get my hands on a mod. Get that little mini quest. Yeah, I will. Oh shit, things are going bad. Same skin! Okay, uh... Four, bitch! Extra damage. Good. Yeah! Okay. Bye. That was just my roommate talking to me real quick before they went out. Tell me to make sure to get up and lock the front door in just a bit. They don't have their house key on them and they're like to hang out somewhere. Turn them all into little meat chunks. I don't know why, but suddenly the episode of South Park where they first said shit is coming into my head. 
just, just Mr. Garrison part in that was the best. Oh, he's just walking down the street going shoot, shoot, back, back, shoot, back, back, how do you do? How do you do? <laughs> uh, God, I freaking love South Park. Great show. Just because the social and political commentary laid out in such a comedic way is, like, fantastic. Ooh. Yes! Two for the mod! Hack him all the bits! All the bits! Hack him up! Yeah, he, like, slammed me with his gun! That's right, since this is a programmed defense, I have to last like, ten ways, not five. God damn! I thought. Like about almost halfway done. Go ahead and reactivate Iron Skin and Roar Bitch. Back off my coffin, you motherfuckers. Yeah, come on. Thank you, Dirija. Nice. Oh, we're going back down. I still have my codex scanner equipped. That is how much ass I'm kicking. I have a useless camera equipped. I am still wrecking shit. I'd love to see one of them manage to survive this and return to their bosses. He beat the hell out of us and he only was holding a camera. Just a camera. <laughs> God damn it, I love getting Dab. Jesus, they got back up! You be one tough motherfucker to get knocked on your ass, get stabbed in the back with a sword, and still get back on your feet and be like that all you got, bitch. <laughs> Hey, okay, Iron Skin is still running, so I don't need to reactivate that. <clears throat> or I can trigger another roar. That, so I can start kicking the crap out of them even harder. Much harder kicks. And it's really too bad that that can't be a thing, because money is all hell. There are plenty of characters in video games and anime and all that. No, 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 fucking die. Video games and anime that have like kicking attack. They do have different weaponry for them, it's usually different footwear and so on. That would be a cool addition. They do have fist-based weaponry, of course, but that's a lot more common than foot weaponry, I suppose. Of course, if you're gonna have a diverse selection of melee weapons, you gotta have some variants of the brass knuckle. I guess that just something like brass sneakers didn't make the cut. Come on, where is he? Straight ahead. 
little bitch hiding behind it. Kill it. Damn, go to Ridge, uh, sniping him long range. How did that count? It seriously. Sometimes that triggers so randomly. Or bitch. Oh yeah, that did everyone group up. Okay, now I'm thinking of the episode of South Park where they did where they did uh was like a uh, fireworks had become illegal. So uh Dad and Jimbo went and got some illegal fireworks for them, so fucking die. Fucking die, fucking die, fucking die, why would fucking die, 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 die. Then Jimbo went to get some illegal fireworks paint. That was just like overtaking the country. So Nen and Jimbo come back with their illegal fireworks, and one of them is just a big-ass bottle rocket. It, when it goes off, it uh, ends up putting out the snake and, like, basically saving everyone. So at the end of the episode, all the characters are covered in soot, cleaning up the mess from the snake. Chef throughout the episode had been on bait. We didn't know any of this was going on. So he just comes back, sees all the rest of South Park, basically in blackface because they're covered in soot. And they're like, hey, Chef, how you doing? He just looks around and he's like, all right, everybody line up for your ass whooping. <laughs> uh, I love South Park. <laughs> everybody looked like they were in blackface because it's soot. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. I wonder if they could get away with that joke nowadays. Oh, you know what? Probably not, because they got goddamn PC character. But basically being the only person in South Park that cares about being politically correct. That just makes me... What the fuck? Is there another pyro? Die, 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 fucking die, die, die. I hate pyros so much. Keep sending them. And heavy gunner. Oh my god. What am I on? About to be wave three. Nice. Oh, we're going up. And I need a drink. Shit. <clears throat> I didn't think they'd show up that soon. Fuck me. <clears throat> Fuck. <clears throat> I could. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm alright. Uh, joking to death for entertainment purposes. <laughs> Jesus! Oh, fuck you! I ran the butt of the gun right into my chin! Holy shit! I know! Seventeen motherfuckers! Every rank just making my power stronger. As I ranked up, pretty good. Instantly recharged all my stuff. God damn it, that's a pyro. I heard them, I heard the stupid whistle for their kabot. Where are they? Where are they? I'm about to ram this sword. Fucking die, you 
ass. There we go. Oh shit, Dirige is dead. I did not realize Dirige had died. It doesn't matter much, and for ammunition, I don't need any. Going full melee. That also means that I'm the resources and credit the enemies are dropping. Also, having to rage a back me with the bulk lock was pretty useful. I'm gonna have to keep open energy spheres. So if I need God damn the pyro! Die 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 die! Jack o' lantern looking mother They laughing at me as they died? You're twisted fuck! Whoa, two Exodus units at one? They're pulling out all the Oh no. No 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 Oh that was an Exodus that was a that was gunner. Oh. Shit, I one of them with a leech, I don't have the energy to recharge. Shit. One enemy left. Okay, I gotta draw their fire. Gotta get the cop in time to reach up. You sneaky motherfucker! Son of a whore. Ah, oh, this is bad. I have the energy to reactivate iron skin. I'm on the final wave. And the and my cryopod is only at like half health. Shit. Oh. This is gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be like one of those final stretch kind of moments. Picked up some energy. Can't let them get close and deal melee. Those are along with heavy gunners. Damn it, there's a pyro. It. Focus. Focus. Keep opening up on them like this. Get your damage. Get shit. On yes. Iron skin. Oh yeah, bitch. Fuck you up. Oh, and of course it's one of it. There's another one? No, no, no. Fucking die, you pumpkin looking ass bitch. Oh, you think you're funny? And I fucking win. Holy.
Holy shit. Mm. Wow, that got me a lot. Okay, mod check. I can mod in between each round, so can't do that one. Fatality, steel fiber. Done for my Warframe. Flashing, puncture, and general damage, okay. Mod? Yes. Yep, there we go. Okay, and like nothing, it takes like less than a thousand credit to upgrade, so. Set. Roll. Check my alerts first. Uh, no. Here. Um. No. There is Semini on series. Okay, now I really need a drink. Oh god, that's so much better. <laughs> My mini missions to get 30 kills. Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo. Okay. <clears throat> Scan the weapons mast. Uh, let's let's have the broaden equipped. I don't know if that in any way changes the amount of points that I will get. Like, if what gun equipped affects like which one will get the experience for my melee kills more. But whatever, I'll, I'll equip whichever one is lower just because. That is the case. The equipped one that I'm using when I score the melee kills will get like a small bit more experience. Then I want it to be whichever one is lower level. This is, of course, the grinding, so I want everything to level up as best I can. Yep. Oh. Oh, God. Whew. Counting that juice, uh, <clears throat> the hiccups. Yeah. I could do that. Right. Damn, go to Rigid. Stunned. Ah. Eight. Nine. Thirty. Move. I think that doesn't know. Holy shit. Shoot at me. Oh! Go ahead and do that so I can clear these punks out faster. My stats are getting up there now. 750 shield. It's gotta be able to kill things a bit faster. I want to beat that defense and uh, excavation mission. The ones that are stonewalling me, my two codex missions. I'm 
really getting screwed over by not being able to beat that defense mission. It takes the place of that interception mission that has me not like not able to get past Europa. Turn means I can't get over to Saturn. Which fucking means I can't beat Howl of the Kubro. And I can't get the nanospores I need. The fucking power for it. I'm getting screwed in every direction possible. All because of that interception mission. I'm on wave five. God, I love Rhino's ability. Make it so he's even harder to kill. Make it so he can, like, deal more damage. Fucking amazing. Start putting some ability mods on him if I can. He's gonna be even more unstoppable. Get that makes it so his ability last long. Or have more power. Iron skin so strong, nothing can heal. Technically how it is already, but there's a limit. Extraction is ready. Extract! Unless you can handle more of the enemy. Oh sweet, I got 30 endo off of that one. My Jossu is level 28! Mod check. Shields. And I don't even have enough endo to do shields. Vitality. Yep. And armor. I'll have a few thousand credit left, so I'll check the next one. Go until I've either checked everything, it's worth the money. Oh, hell yeah! That maxes the... Wait, what? Oh shit, did I accidentally... Did I do a bad? I did a bad. Oh! Fucking hell. Needs flash damage more than anything, so Fuck I screwed up. Hate the mud too powerful for the weapon. Okay. I've only got like a thousand credit left, so I can't do anything with that. Fuck. Okay. Run Semini again. That isn't a super big problem. Only made the mod one point too strong. One. So as soon as the Broughton ranks up, I'll be able to slap that mod back onto it. Three kills within ten seconds. The enemy is at our doorstep. You must defend our equipment until reinforcements arrive. Go ahead and... Yes! And one of these ramparts. Rotten's like halfway to level 24 now. So it won't take long to rank it up to uh, 24... Especially if I keep knocking out mini missions. One and two, three, and there we go.
and they fall to the blue. <laughs> uh, but really, they just respawn somewhere. Or maybe Dorit just shot them on the way down? Okay, well, whatever. Not gonna argue. The faster I get through this, the better, because that'll be credit in my pocket. That credit. That way I can upgrade my mom. Got an okay amount of endo right now. I need to. I can trade in a bunch of duplicate mods for endo. Actually, since I'm trying to grind, I can't do the trade for the endo. Because I want the, like, most, most stuff to go ahead and rank. Because the more it takes to rank a mod up, better the mod tends to be, in my opinion. Mods like Pressure Point and Serration that just increase general damage for weaponry. Uh, redirection and Vitality, where it increases your health and shields. Those are all mods that take a mega, like, ton of XP, kind of, of endo and credit to rank. But it's worth it. Because they are such powerful mods. Now I've pretty much just been dumping the stuff into my Warframe mod. Whereas hope to put them more into the weaponry just so I can kill shit faster. But those mods are going to get extremely expensive in a matter of moments. Just running from top to bottom is going to be my best bet. on using Roar, Rhino, a lot faster, and it makes it so I deal more damage, so I can kill the enemies just faster in general. The faster I kill them, the faster I can rerun the mission. The more times I run the mission, the better. Come on. Is that all you got? Show me what you got. I really do just need to do like a long run, like endless mission just to see how far I can get. I'll, I'll, I'll have to dedicate like an entire episode to that. But it'll be fun and pretty worth it. I think there are achievements you get for, like, how long you can run certain missions. Reinforcements available. Do you choose to leave now or continue fighting? Nice. Rotten did not rank that time. In closer, though. Yeah, have I even checked the fucking mods on Dirigi yet? Or did I just, like, throw him in and be like, go? Son of a bitch. <sighs> okay. Go ahead and... Is there anything specifically for Dirigi? Sentinel will zap up to two enemies within 10 meters 
dealing electrical damage with a 10%. Wow. Okay, okay. Always want to look at the mods specifically for, like, that sentinel. Every 10 seconds, the sentinel will continually zap an enemy within 15 meters, trapping them in a stunned state. Holy crap! Okay, so... All except the vacuum mod are, like, Dirigis specific, and apparently he's the electrical sentinel. So... Okay, okay. Have to do this like I was planning. Although now that I have those mods on, he will be quite quite a bit better. Top to bottom, check out my rhino mods. Ooh. I have 90 endo left. That uh, these costing like several hundred endo, so nothing for Rhino. I'll be skipping him for mod checks. And do the Broughton, gotta hold out till 24 for the things. N, I can spend on this, so puncture the slash. Where's my slashing mod? Do I not have a slash mod? How do I not have a punk? How do I not have a pistol slashing mod yet? Okay. Let's go with Convulsion. That'd be best. Some electrical damage. Go ahead and upgrade mods. That is actually the best bet since electrical mods tend to be very useful. Oh, and that burnt out what I had left of Endo. It. Okay. Wait, I should do... Since I... Crap! 13 points to spend? Okay, impact... Impact mod? Okay, uh, what the fuck? Why do I only have the impact? I know I don't have a slashing, but I should have a uh, puncture mod. I don't have a goddamn puncture mod! What the hell have I been doing? Okay, channeling damage. Um, critical damage. Handling efficiency. And I don't have a critical chance mod, do I? Yeah, no, I think I only have the one to increase critical damage, but not its chance of occurring. Oh, well, that sucks. I really need to stop saying that. Xbox, stop listening! Oh my god. Freaking aneurysm one of these days. And let- oh wait. I'm doing infested, so let's do heat damage. Ah, that's cool. Dirigia? Okay, so these mods are gonna be- t okay, I only have four points to spend. Okay, these are just gonna be temporary mods. So I'm going to put them in the middle so I remember. Okay, the electrical mod on this one makes a lot of sense. That makes magnetic. Radiation. Okay. Hmm. There it is, status chance. Let's put that one on. Better better odds that the enemy will get stunned by his attacks. 
Oh, and this busted serration mod will help. Okay. That's good for now. That's good for the time being, but I will need... Need more endo, and as I say that, I realize I can thin at the freaking foundry. Duplicates. Ah, I have, I have mods for my Kubro. Damn. Old mod that I have a double of. That, that's actually really good. The higher they rank, the more endo they're worth. Trade in all of these extra mods for some endo. I will be able to power up a little bit more. And then some missions just like barf mods at you. You also get them as prizes for stuff. It makes it so using odds as a source of endless endo is really worth it. Also, if you go like farming for like anything, collecting a whole bunch of eye hand stars, there you go. Those are worth 50 and 100 points a pop to Maru. 50 for the blue ones, and uh, 100 for the orange. But, as I mentioned last time I brought this up, you do not trade any lower than 20. Then you always need to have 20 of each star in your pocket, no matter what. If you have any less, you do not trade them. Okay, 530 endo. They were only worth a little over 20,000 points, like 20,000 credits. So that is definitely a better trade getting endo for them. Since I'm about to get 20,000 credit just running this mission. Whereas getting 500 some endo takes me a goddamn long time. Every. Uh, hold on. Ality? Okay, I can't do that. So steal fiber to them. Okay. Upgrade the Baratin. I can't do that right. Upgrade the Fury. Start with Hornet Strike. Shit, I don't have the cash. Okay, so... Eh, well, I'll, I'll check the other mods just to be safe. Session Rounds. Now I only have like 1400 in cash, so now I really do have to go rerun Semini. Okay. A lot of, lot of work on that one. Missions for credit. One was locked because I haven't actually gotten the location open yet. The other was goddamn interception, so fuck that. It ten headshots. The enemy. Uh -huh, my sword's on fire. It's on fire. I love it. So heat this up a bit. Maybe get two scans. Now the Ridge is decked out with all kinds of crazy mods for see what he can do. Of course, they all have incredibly low perk chances because they're unranked. God, five headshots. Same skin.
Damn, Deridge is. I was just about to say Deridge is a sniper. Hit the enemy from so far away. Saying that, I realized, yes, this is a fucking sniper sentinel. Incredibly long ranges. His weapon is a fucking sniper rifle. It's the ball block. And he has a bunch of fucking eyes all over him. That's whenever he's just sitting around, randomly zoom in and out. Holy crap, I am it I am an idiot. Bastard. Hiding under the corpse of his fallen ally. for me. Probably some lockers over here, but I never really bothered to check them. Oh, crap! Came fast that time. how some of them just randomly cause talk. is not too much to me when I got iron skin. Oh, well, that was dumb. That wastes five seconds of my roar. Now, the random talks is though. It's annoying. As hell. And cleared. Reinforcements available. Do you choose Happy to little shuffle. now or continue fighting? Alright, the Brontons are about to rank up. The Furies just ranked. Jaw Sword ranked, of course. I'd have the Jaw Sword finished by the end of this. Maybe two more runs should do it. Let's do a mod check. Shields. Nope. At the endo. I don't have any way to get a crap ton more endo. So once it's all tapped out, I'm done uh, checking mods and I'm just gonna grind. Rotten. Right, gotta hold out on that one. Furies. Go with Hornet Strike. At the endo. Session rounds. Nope. Not the endo. Uh, no return. Nope. Convulsion. Wait. Do I have a convulsion that already has points on it? And no, I do not. No, I do not. Gotta make sure I'm not wasting my points by 
upgrading a mod that's already gotten... Oh, wow. Burnt out every bit of the endo I have left. That is it. Everything is as powerful as I can make it. Oh. Okay, that's better. I just gotta grind for levels. And money. There's a way that you could buy mon uh, endo with credit. I made one. Okay, get five kills. Okay. Our position has I'm very compromised. much considering going to trade a Enemy statue to Maru for more endo. Oh. I glitched the shit out of the game. Uh. Oh, holy crap. I think I actually did. Oh! I'm not up on this part, so I can't... Fuck! Okay, okay. I caused a reset. Wait. Oh, no. The elevator isn't programmed to come... Oh, thank God. Oh, my God. I was so scared I broke the mission. Okay. Okay. And the rampart. Cryopod. Oof. Okay, five sliding kill. Iron skin up. Shit! Ah, they're just blowing the fuck up in my face. And fuck. Now I can just slaughter them like normal. That one was cool. Burn! I really do need the levels for my mods. So I think I will go trade a sculpture to Maru. Because I do, through my personal profile. And from there... I can trade my platinum from there over to this account. Damn. Focus. Hellboy, you need to fuck you. Uh, Hellboy 2. That was great. Why did they never make a Hellboy 3? I would have loved a Hellboy 3. They teased at it too, and that's what sucked. Hellboy 1 was all about him terms with what he really was and all that and finding a fucking eldritch horror style god that was amazing oh boy two reveal of monsters and shit to the world him going on the epic journey to bring down an in
So why they never do Hellboy 3? It was hinted that was supposed to be like about him having kids and the potential that they would be like monsters that could bring about the end of the world. Which of course since it's Hellboy, that's like regular thing, but still. It's been so cool! The jaw sword's getting up there. I can see the difference on the XP bar. Right, it's going to have to come down to bonus XP. I'll decide if it's leveled or not. Open it does. Because ranking a weapon up would be incredibly good. Ranking it up to max. Then I could trade for a new one. Which, then this one is just made to power grind melee on. And brand new weapon. I get so many points so fast. What the hell? If that thing, like, manages to legitimately hit me, it causes mag damage? No. And... Stab and stab. Extraction is ready. Unless you can handle more of the enemy. They got a little bit of endo from that. Jesus, fuck! Or they get struck by lightning right at the end. Okay, yeah. Based on the size of the XP bars I got that time, if I run this mission one more Go to my room's bizarre real quick. Trade her one of my Ayatan sculptures. And that will rank up a bunch of or well I know I'll be able to afford at least one. One of the most expensive ones. And I'll probably just be able to afford some of the cheaper ones after. Did you hear I'm, I'm turning everyone's Iotan treasures into end. Just I'm just taking a look at what's available. Okay. Extract endo for my Iotan items. If you're looking I have one of these bizarre, I can trade. Come to the right place. And give sculpture. Oh, Yes, please. A lot of good stuff here, Tenno. But you could score even more endo with complete sculptures. Around, Leave Maru's Bazaar. Now with all the credit and endo that I have pocketed from those missions and that sculpture, should be able to rank up some of my mods much higher level. In some of these in the uh, Codex missions I have to do. Let's do Rhino first. Shield. Hell yeah. Okay. Health. Don't have the cash for health. Armor. Not the cash. 
Okay, so when when it's cash, that's the issue. I just move on to the next one. Rotten, not there yet, almost. Threes. Wait, 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 wait. Hero, I can't uh, make any of those stronger. Right, 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 right. Okay. Wait. Yes, you can max out the pressure point mod. What else I got? Or two more. Yes, stop. Attack damage. One for it. I don't think so, maybe. One for it. And that should... Yep, Jaw Sword's tapped. And I also don't have any money left. Back to Semini. Very I, I just have to make that distinction every time. So it's clear where this mission is, so if anybody wants to go there to grind, find it. Don't give me that look, Puzzle. And all upset because I moved around and woke her up. Dip of drink! Get 30 kills. Totally gonna get that one. Our position has been compromised. Defend the cargo until up we go. Get my scan. And begin the slaughter. Oh wait, shit. And Ryopod. Go. Run is like right at the edge. Hopefully this one will be what I need to get it to max. See once I score those 30 kills. Because I'm doing that bonus XP from the mini mission. Should kick it over, should kick Grun over to level 23. At which point I'll be able to re equip that mod that I acc accidentally took off. Careless leveling. Oh, hi, Puzzle. I want to do something. Yeah, to my right. That's pet effort. <laughs> not just not just turn him into piles of meat right now. Turn him into piles of cooked meat. He's got a fire sword. I should iron. Fully forgot about that. Yeah, and use four, duh. Jesus, keep on forgetting my strategies. It'd be even more powerful once I have a prime flow mod. Or even just a puzzle get off tablet. That for chat. Or even just a regular flow mod. Because that's the mod that increases the maximum amount of energy your Warframe can have. Using those? Oh man. Crazy with those pills. Oh, something level. Yes, rotten rank. Feet, so I'll be able to re equip that mod. Oh, and Dirigia, rank 11. Okay, yeah, here they come. Man, I just saw an alert that was worth like. 13 grand. That'd be like a fun little thing just to do as a side bit. And the ridge looks awesome. Good. Look at his little dealies lapping in the wind. Oh, bitch! Oh man, you know what would be funny? 
It's a compilation of Rhino doing roar, but set to, to like, what is he, Katy Perry that does the song roar? <laughs> That'd be fucking great. Oh, Christ. God, my shield is 810. My health is 511. I don't know if that's like my max or if I took a little bit of damage or what. I'm pretty sure that's uh, not my max, though. It really doesn't uh, do funny numbers like that. I'm going to be rounded out to like 510 or 520. Oh, I'm already on wave 5? Holy crap, I'm paying attention to that. Focusing on trying to create stupid memes, I suppose, with that whole roar thing. Reinforcements available. Extract. Or continue fighting. Laid mastery. Hell yeah. Yeah, the Broughton ranked just from normal XP, and then... Nice! Now I can trade the Jaw Sword for something else. Yeah, and I gotta remember to re... No, no, no. Okay, upgrade Broughton. Here's thing hit. Here. Perfect. Now we replace the Jaw Sword. And I think I had actually started one other as a test. Heat sword. Yeah, because it, it already... Yeah. Since it's a fire-based weapon, I went ahead and already put the Molten Impact mod on it. Set. Yep. Okay. Right now. So shields. Not have the endo. Vitality. Don't have the money. So. Yeah, not the money. Rotten. Can't do anything. Series. Can't do anything. Each sword or each or time, my friend. Vacuum's already maxed, so Sentinel will zap up to two enemies within ten meters. Electrical damage within a with a ten percent status chance. Sentinel charges a powerful shot and fires the first enemy within 0.8 meters. In 10 seconds, the Sentinel will continuously zap an enemy within 15 meters, trapping them in a stun state. Okay, so I want to go with that power shot first. And I can max it right now. So, what did that do? Sentinel charges a powerful shot and fires the first enemy within 70 meters. First thing to come within 70 meters of me is getting its fucking face shot off. Nice. Okay. Next. Every 10 seconds, the Sentinel will continuously zap an enemy, so stunning them. Zap up to two enemies. Blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna go with this one, because this is continual damage. Find this, and it doesn't give me an... It didn't say that it made it too powerful. Oh, because since I have it on the, uh, I have it on the symbol, it cut down the cost. Bridge is maxed. So now onto the bulk lock. And I upgrade the Stormbringer mod. Money, shit. 
Uh, and I also don't have the time to rerun that mission. If that's the case... Then... Okay, well... I don't have time to run another mission now, so I'm going to go ahead and just end the stream here. So, if you want to rewatch this, or... Oh, wait. Wait, we may be able to do a thing. Venus Relay, Esper, I've almost maxed with my, uh, oh, fuck. Okay, I just realized I was considering ranking up with my syndicates by trading in some marks. But, that will not work. I don't have the money to buy my next title. Rank up with them, you have to trade in certain items and a certain amount of cash. I don't have the cash. I don't have time to grind for it. Okay, puzzle. Okay, but hopefully that means in the next one I'll be able to do that. And by the end of it, just trading the marks. So, Burby. That's the for real end of the episode. So, if you want to watch this or any of my episodes, I have them all archived on YouTube under Dominic Seraph. It is D O M E N I C S E R A P H. And if you want to watch me live, I am on twitch.tv slash Dominic Seraph. So, a thank you so, all so much for watching. I had an awesome time, and I hope you did too. If you liked this video, please subscribe, and hope to see every last one of you in the next video. Goodbye.